from buying the turkey to setting the table, Thanksgiving can have a foul effect <laughs> on your finances. <laughs> Early show contributor Katie Lee, though, is here with some great choices for you from lavish to low budget to help you get through the holiday. You could look like you spent a million bucks without actually spending it. Exactly. And, you know, the holidays do get really expensive, especially if you're the one hosting Thanksgiving dinner. Exactly. You so you have a lot of money. So you have some great um, splurge versus steal options for us. Yes. And the first one being the turkey. The turkey. So planning ahead is key with your turkey because it's actually about time to start ordering it, mm -hmm. even though we're two weeks out. So our splurge turkey is a heritage turkey. Have you ever heard of one of these? I mean, we've been hearing more about these. They're getting much more popular, and it actually it doesn't have the same characteristics as a traditional turkey. This um, dates back to the turkeys that they found in the New World when they came here. First Thanksgiving. So only 25,000 of these are produced a year wow. versus 200 million of the conventional turkeys. So this one is from D'Artagnan and it was $130. Ooh. So and this quite serves how many a splurge. People? This would serve about six to eight people. Okay. Yeah, you want to plan on about a pound and a half of per turkey person. per person. So our steel turkey, this is a delicious free-range turkey. It was frozen, mm -hmm. and it was $20. So Big much less expensive. It's still free-range. It's delicious. The recipe for this turkey is on the website. And the secret for getting this beautiful golden brown is maple syrup. Oh. So it will always look like it came out of a magazine if you do a little baste with maple syrup. I like it. And That's you can still trick. get the fancy turkey for a little bit less exactly. or a lot less, we exactly. should say. And a free-range turkey or organic turkey always tastes better than just a traditional It actually turkey. has some flavor. Exactly. So I think it's better to spend a little bit more than for a regular one. Yeah, because so. it'll be worth it in the end. Your place settings place can setting. really add up. But if you want to spruce up your table, you have some options Very for important to have nice place settings, but you can spend a ton of money on this. Our splurge is from Williams Sonoma. I like plain white dishes mm -hmm. because then the food is really highlighted. So this five-piece place setting was $100, but we went to Fish is Eddie and found one that's very similar. This is another plain white, and you buy these pieces separately instead of a set. So right. they're 3 to $6 a piece. Great. I spent $30 for five pieces plus two wine glasses. That's fantastic. And then this fantastic. week, too, what's nice about when you buy things by the piece? When, you know, Uncle Eddie comes over and breaks it, it's very easy to replace. <laughs> exactly. After he has too much exactly. wine. But we'll get to the wine in a minute. First, we want to do the centerpieces. This, to me, looks like traditional Thanksgiving, a beautiful centerpiece. Mm -hmm. that, that's this our steel. This is the steel. That's our steel. And, you know, the centerpiece really makes the table. And it can cost a lot of money mm -hmm. if you go with flowers. These are from Stone Kelly, beautiful floors. Gorgeous. Here in New York. And they can really add up because, for instance, these peonies in the summertime are $4 a stem, but in the fall, they're $12 a stem. Wow. So that can really add up. They're gorgeous, but we went to the craft store, and I love this. This is a cornucopia that was $8, and then I filled it with some gourds and some Indian corn. This looks so beautiful. It was $12. Total. For everything on here. Wow. So get creative with it. Let your kids help, and everybody can kind of be part of setting the table this really way. Really fun. I really, like really, that. Really, really nice. When we look at the wine, you're actually in luck if you're a fan of Beaujolais Nouveau because it always comes out just in time for Thanksgiving. Exactly. And with wine, the sky's the limit. You can spend a ton of money on this. So our splurge is a Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. which is a great pairing for turkey, about $35 a bottle. But like you said, this Beaujolais Nouveau, it comes out the third Thursday of every November. So it's perfect for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, its best pairing is with turkey and stuffing. Perfect. So fantastic. Serve it slightly chilled, though. You okay. want to put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes before you serve it. And these you can get for an average of what? Say $10 a bottle? $10 a bottle. So great that's deal. fantastic. A great deal. And it's also part of the season. It looks very festive. It's also a great gift if you're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving. Is Pick there anything it can't do? Your dishes. It can't do your dishes <laughs> can't afterwards. Do the dishes. Finally, and candles. Very important to have the nice ambiance. Mm -hmm. So these are her cane vases that I bought at Pottery Barn for $35 plus the candles. But, you know, when you get flowers, you never know what to do oh, with all yes. those vases. I save them and use them for my table. So I filled it with cranberries and put in the tea lights. And then, you know, you can use the cranberries another time. And to I make love reusing relish. these vases because I think we probably all have too many of them oh, collecting dust. I have so dust. many of them. Mine just collect dust. But you could also collect your own acorns. Exactly. Depending on what you have on your Send in the your kids yard. Out in the yard, yeah. <laughs> Go taste them out of the kitchen. Everything. I like it. <laughs> Great ideas, as always, is that, as you mentioned, we can find more on the website on the steals and splurges mm -hmm. at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.